So that's what well, we got. We got enough people here. We got what 311 people. I used to give people a few minutes. Um, you well, you know, we we can just change it around. You can look in the in the in the uh, Google and it'll tell you what melanated even says, and they'll tell you melan melanated is just another way of calling someone an African person, an African American, or whatever else. So let's just change it. So anyway, yeah, because there's people gonna come in and say, why you want to do that? But because they the one didn't come tell us it's okay to call yourself that, and we don't need their permission to do anything. I just want to say that. Um, <clears throat> But well, the purpose of this, as I stated earlier, since we got this, you know, um, corrected. When we focus on women too much, it says something about us as men. And I, I want to explain why I, I want to focus on that. You know, on YouTube, there's a lot of people that talk about women all day. You know, whether it's uh, critiquing, whether it's going too far. Um, but women, 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 and in the midst of you building teams and you building all this kind of stuff, uh, Michael Simmons, thank you for donating to the collection plate. Um, what are you really getting out of that as men? Okay. You can get all the game you want. You can get all the advice you want, but at the end of the day, you do all that, that talking about women all day long, women, women, women. Like, I don't see any progress for you as a man. And you're not even focusing on what men need to be focused on. If you really had your stuff together, brothers, women be the last problem you got. Women would be the easiest thing to deal with outside of being in a relationship with them. But some of you are constantly asking about how to talk to women, how to get women. Like, But I want to ask some of y'all, what does your credit score look like, my brother? This is the question I have. How how much are you making per year? Are you trying to start businesses? Like what are you, what are you doing? Because we got so much advice about women, but we don't have nothing about trying to help brothers start businesses, how to help brothers get on. Well, that's good. If you got a US taking care of Michael, that do well, shoot, you all right, keep it that high. Um if you doing all the important stuff, do you realize as men Women are attracted to one thing for the most part, and it's just universal. It don't matter about your looks either. No matter what they tell you, it don't matter about your looks. It don't. Because you have the ugliest dude get with a woman that looks a hundred times better than he could ever look, right? So, all women for the most part are attracted to men with some sort of form of success and some sort of influence period they're not attracted to guys that's just crying all day about females or saying this female dude i don't look i don't care if a female got out of two that's how i always felt about that because if she got one i don't gotta be around her i'm not gonna make a hundred videos about women having an attitude or women doing this i don't care because when you have your stuff situated even when i was single i was that way she could be however she want to be only thing I'm going to tell her is, look, I don't fly with that. And if she want to keep that up, cool. She a grown woman. Do what you want to do. I'm going to slide to the side real quick. And y'all dudes need to understand, know the power of that. Walking away from them when they're doing stuff gives you so much power that, trust me, they will be blowing your phone up. Why you Why you don't want to talk to me no more? Why you doing like Because I'm not going to put up with that. I'm not. I ain't your daddy. And I'm not your child. So with that said, I walk away. I, walk, I tell dudes that in a minute, it flipped their mind when, they, when you walk away from them versus they walk away from you. You said, you look, I always tell guys when it comes to that situation, when you have a certain spot in your life, you got a decent job, business, whatever you got going on, some of the women will say, well, those guys have kind of got themselves together, kind of arrogant. You know why they say that? Because you know your worth. And you're not going to put up with anything. And because you're not going to put up with anything, just as a man, then they may seem you're arrogant. No, you're not arrogant. You just know your worth. And men, their confidence level rises as their success level rises. And so I can tell that you're not even in a spot where you need to be because you're making videos about women all day. I can tell. Because 
what man you know that's doing real well on YouTube, social media, talking about women 24-7? Unless it's their hustle. Like, like for me, I look at the bigger picture. Just as a melanated man in this country, women is not my problem. The system of white supremacy is my problem. And when I hear a lot of you brothers say that, and I know what you're talking about, I, I'm even flip that, and I'm gonna tell you who's the real culprit. Do you realize as a melanated man in America, you are the most hated, period. You're the most hated. You're the most hated because the system of white supremacy view you as their direct competition, view you as the one that can genetically annihilate them. And they fear that even more now since their birth rates are in the trash. So do you think that's going to get better for a lot of you with that, that's pursuing that? And somebody said about race loyalty. Somebody said, I see you don't focus on those things when you got your stuff together. That's what I'm talking about. Do you ever hear me talking about women with race loyalty? I don't say a word about that stuff because as a man, I'm looking at the bigger picture for the community as a whole. And one thing I can tell you as uh, a community as a whole, when the man is right, the community is right. When the man is down, the community is down. I don't care what they say. But when it comes to this system, a lot of you bring up stuff. A lot of you weren't even born. And some of you may my age remember this. But, you know, you use the thing about, well, these women, they went on Sally Jesse Raphael, if you remember that. They went on Donahue, they went on Oprah, they went on Jenny Jones, they went on Ricky Lake, they did all this other stuff to talk bad about us. Okay, stop right there. There's only a few women at that time period doing that, number one. Number two, who were the hosts at that time period? They're white. Who are the producers of these shows? They're white. Who's the owners of these television stations? They're white. Doing what? putting out an anti-black male propaganda to make the world think that not only do we say black men are bad, see I'm saying black, or now they women saying it. So look, they just horrible. Everything is about making us as melanated men look like the most horrible thing ever. And when you regurgitate using a calculated thing to harm the image of the melanated man, you fell for the propaganda of those people. They also, some of you talk about the job situation. Anybody, period, want a job, whether it's a man or a woman. Because this system of white supremacy fear you, melanated man, they would rather give your melanated women the job over you because they feel they can control her a little bit more, but they know you, you can't be controlled unless you're a coon. This is why certain opportunities don't come your way. This is why the system of white supremacy should be your focus. Because if you deal with white supremacy, you won't have a job problem. You won't have no problem. Some of them folks that you understand, your enemy will give you distractions. You ever heard something that the devil can't defeat you, but he can distract you? As long as you folks in on distractions, women uh, 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 talking about each other as black, you know, melanated men. See, I'm, I'm, I got to get out of my system, right? You're not focusing on defeating the system. Let me tell you something. Every melanated man I've ever met that has his self together, his dignity, his self-respect, I have never seen any melanated woman disrespect them not honor them and can't wait to be with them if they are available and even if they're not available okay i haven't seen it show me the man that got himself together i mean really i ain't talking about no entertainer i'm not talking about no rapper i'm not talking about uh, uh, uh no singer or none of that i'm talking about really got himself together Show me that man that's not going to get respect. Because some of the things that y'all talking about, when I run into melanated women, I don't see what y'all talking about. When I run into them and speak with them, they're nice. They're helpful. You know, I've definitely had a lot of, you know, melanated women help me in the background do things because they believe in what we're doing. So 
who also as men, you got to protect your own. We don't trash our children. We can just, now we can critique something, but we don't trash our children. We don't trash our brothers. We don't trash the women of our community. Yes, I understand we all do do wrong, but our biggest problem with us as melanated people is we don't like to be accountable and we don't like critique. That's male and female. We both got issues that we need to solve with each other. And the last thing that I want to do, I'm not going to use my platform to promote hate for the melanated man or hate for the melanated woman. It does not happen. And that's so much so I believe that men shouldn't be addressing women in certain ways. That's why when I talked to Sister Sadia, right, I said, listen, it may be times I may ask you to address a, a topic. Because I, as a man, you can't address women because it's wise in that. And I'm going to tell you wisdom in not addressing women. Anytime a man addresses a woman and he's real uh, aggressive and, and about it, it's always going to be interpreted as, oh, he's being you know rough to me, he's being a bully, stop. It's always going to be interpreted to that. But when another woman addresses that, um, what do you say? Is there still hope for nice guys? Um, no. No, 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 because some some guys who are who consider nice are too passive, and that and women aren't attractive to passive men, or men who are too feminized. They're really not. You have to be um, more assertive, aggressive, a little bit. Not aggressive to you starting fights. And this society want to say hyper masculinity is bad. No, they say that because they're ranked number three out of men when it comes to testosterone. The black man is number one. Uh, the Hispanic man will be number two. The white man will be number three. The Asian man will be number four. It actually, has the lowest degree of testosterone, uh, actually, before the white man. So what that says, you as a black man, having the highest degree of testosterone, that's why you're going to have a higher sex drive. Um, you're going to, it helps with your training. Let's say, like, if you try to lift weights, do whatever you got to do, right? I mean, you can look into the, what's the benefits of testosterone. So that's just in us to do that. Don't ever feel that being a true alpha male is something that should be bad. Never view that as something bad. That's kind of like making somebody feel bad that they got a little bit more money than you and you're trying to shame them, right? Um, I'm just kind of reading some of these comments. I don't see y'all going somewhere different with that. I yeah, I'm not even talking about anatomy or none of that other stuff. Yeah, y'all saying some. Uh, I don't. I don't like like sister. I don't get involved with that stuff. I don't get involved with that stuff because it's it's. I look at the bigger picture, and the bigger picture is you know every day we have in these white supremacist teachers being racist to our kids in school constantly. We have the Koreans choking out melanated women we have brothers getting shot down either by you know other gangs or by police brothers need jobs um brothers need to take care of themselves you get a situation with colin kaepernick they sit up there showing him that look we run this and you we pay you to shut your mouth and play a ball and make our money and with the situation with Colin Kaepernick, with these NFL owners basically blackballing him, they let you know that you ain't running nothing. And I think all melanated people need to boycott the NFL for the simple reason of they they pulling this mess like they the slave master, they're men the slaves, they may be high play, paid slaves, but they the slaves. But as men in your twenties, instead of being online, get your act together. Like 20 and 30 should be arranged for you to definitely make some mistakes, okay? But you should be able to get your education, you should be able to get your uh business going and everything that you want to do, or even a good job, right? There's nothing wrong with having a good job as long as the people treat you right. In your 30s, you should already have your stuff together. In your 30s, it's the time I recommend any man, if you want to get serious with women, do it in your 30s, don't do it in your 20s. Definitely don't have no kids. Don't have no kids to save your life. You know what uh, to do to prevent kids. I don't care if a woman tell you she on um, birth control pills. Okay, cool. Well, I'm a double protect. 
I don't care if she says she allergic to latex. I always carry a, a, a lambskin uh, condom. The only bad thing about that lambskin condom stuff, um, it doesn't protect you against STDs. It's just pregnancy. So you need to make sure you know who you're fooling with if you're going to go that route. Okay? So don't have children because child support is financial jail for 18 years. And if you can't pay, it's going to be real life jail. Understand that. So you don't have no kids until you are ready. Now, I say that if she ain't worth your last name, she ain't worth having a kid with. So if, if brothers would really think like that, like if I'm not marrying this chick, she don't need to have my kid, then we would cut down on some of this kid making we having. And, and it's not, and listen, men that got the act together don't make eight, nine kids either. That's, that's, that's call that what it is. It's always pookie or some scrub, uh, one scrub making all these kids with these different women. It's not, it's not, because men know they got to act together. Man, I don't want a thousand dollars taking out my check a month, or fifteen hundred dollars a freaking month for a kid. They're like, hell no. I'm trying to keep my money in my back pocket. I'm not trying to give it all up. See, me and the, 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 also the position you need to be put in. If you hate income tax season, you're in a good position. If you're looking forward to it, you're not in a good position yet. I'm gonna repeat that again. If you look forward to income tax, you're not in a good position. If you hate income tax, if you wait till April 15th, if you file the extension to go to October, to so you can pay in October, if you're at that point, you're doing all right. A lot of men, and you can see as they get funds and finances and stuff like that, they will attract certain kind of women. You don't have to go chase these women to do it. They'll find you. Trust me. You will change your scenery to attract certain kind of women as well. You won't be at hood night. You're going to be, usually you're like, man, look, where are these 25 and upset? Where's these situations where people are grown? They're going to um, go out and, and they got careers. They're not trying to fight. You know, they, they just trying to have a good time, right? That, that's me, the nice lady that way. That's, uh, as men, you know, we got to look to build families as well because I don't promote, I don't promote hoeing on the male side or the female side. I don't promote it because it just causes so many problems. And, and as a man, like I say, you don't want to get caught up with child support. That's just not a good look. It takes two parents to raise a child. And the biggest thing we have in our community is too many children are being born and not in two-parent households. And as men, we have to take our responsibility ourselves for our finances and everything, period. And so what I'm saying to you, if you're 30 plus years old and you don't have your act together, you still trying to figure yourself out? What you doing, my brother? 30 plus, you should be you should be on it by then. Early 30s, man, by the time you get to your mid-30s, maybe close to 40, you should be well set in your career. Money should not be an issue for you hardly anymore because you worked hard, did what you had to do, right? Women shouldn't be an issue because you learn your lessons, what women to fool with, what not to fool with. You're going to learn that list because, you know, I tell men to always develop a list and they say, what do you mean by a list? I say, you need to develop two lists. One list for what you need in a woman, I'm not talking about physical stuff. No physical, not this, she had to have this, this, that, no, no, no. I'm talking about character. What is like, she can't cheat. I don't need a cheater. I don't need somebody that's insecure. I don't need someone that I gotta do therapy sessions for every day. I mean, you know, make a list. And then as a man, make a list of um, deal breakers. And what I say, what I mean by deal breakers is, okay, She's not gonna be grabbing my phone and asking for the code anytime she get good and ready. Ain't happening. Because I said she got a trust issue. And I'ma tell her about it. And if she continue to do it, I'ma walk off. You know, deal breakers. Like she can't cheat. She ain't about to be having a bunch of male friends talking about she's gonna hang out with a bunch of dudes in a relationship. You know, whatever the deal breaker is, have deal breakers. Okay? And if you live by that like a code for yourself, we always talking about a code for the community, but you need to have a code for yourself. Once you have a code for yourself, then you gonna have some sort of self-worth. 
Because if you don't come into a, uh, like, eventually, let's say, a relationship with a woman, and you don't let her know what the deal breakers are and what you're looking for, she gonna tell you what your deal breaker should be and what you're looking for. And I don't think you should do that. Um, well, the first of all, you're talking about good women. Well, good women is not going to do that to you anyway. Good women, and this is another thing. Some of y'all dudes get mad about women, and I'm going to tell you this, this one thing. What well, one woman won't do, another one will. Always remember that. So if this woman won't appreciate you, another one will. No men should be checking a female phone. I don't check my wife's phone. I don't ask her for the code for her phone, nothing. You know why? Because I've lived long enough to learn that if somebody doing dirt with time, they're going to expose themselves. You ain't got to chase behind nobody. And especially men. Men are the worst liars in the world. That's why men always get caught. If you pay, if you stand back long enough and watch somebody, they're hating themselves. Their patterns change. They start acting different um, toward you. I mean, you ain't gotta be chasing no woman. Like, like the if I gotta be behind a woman that much, well, I gotta be checking her phone, worry about what she's doing, uh, worrying about what she at. I don't need to be with her. I just stay by myself. I don't need that kind of headache. I tell people all the time. I'm like Danny Glover. I'm too old for this. I ain't trying to be playing them kind of games. I just want to be happy, live my life. Cause we trying to work and build something. And that's the thing. When you get with a woman, strategically get with her as well. But once you got your act together, you think different. You ain't got to worry about simping with a woman or tricking off with a woman when you got yourself together. And, th and that's what I want. I want y'all to think more about having your act together so we can focus on building the community. The community is fixed, no matter what somebody say, off of the man. The moment at least 80%, maybe 50% of you black men, see I said it, melanated men, get your act together, we won't have these issues. If at least 50% of the men, or even 80, I would love 80% of the men, got on a concerted effort to build, not build about talking about women, but I mean build on, let's start a conglomerate. Let, let's, let's take back our industries. You get what I'm saying? Let's take back uh, the black beauty uh, care industry. Let's take it back. Shoot, let's help the sisters do that. That's, we got to come in, we got to come in as men and, and start taking stuff that belongs to us and help them with it as well. And I tell you this, the moment the black man provides jobs for the black woman, and like I said, I keep saying it, that's the moment her respect will change for you. You know why You know why a lot of, some of them have a little bit more respect for the white man than you because they provide them jobs. Notice when you start providing them jobs, that melanated woman is gonna be more happy with you because why? She don't have to worry about when she go work for you that she got to change her hair from an ethnic hairstyle. She don't have to worry about uh, not saying certain things because it offends people or changing her language or doing whatever she got to do because it's making others comfortable. She don't have to worry about dealing with, and, and, and it's just something I see, I don't know why the melanated woman and the white woman have a, they are, they beef. And I've seen the beef. It, it's it's kind of fierce. It, it's something that y'all need to really pay attention to. A lot of men don't see that. That the melanated woman and white woman they are at each other, and and, and it's it is not something that um, the melanated woman started. It's I, I see the inherent jealousy. I've seen you know where if don't let the don't let the melanated woman be attractive. Don't let that happen. I've seen it so many times. You have a, an attractive melanated woman. The melanated men are going to talk to this woman because they just want to see if they can even talk to her. Possibly, maybe get her number to go out with her. And you, I've seen white women be so jealous of that. Like, wait a minute, what you jealous of what them brothers are doing with her? Why are you jealous? But I've seen it so many times. And, and so, we can eliminate a lot of these problems if we as brothers start creating more businesses. We can prevent our kids from going through all this racism stuff. We can create more schools and get some good teachers. Cause like I said, we can start private schools. There's nothing wrong with that. And then we can do it in a way 
we make it affordable for everyone, then we don't have to worry about that. Well, some people, well, if you gave up, you gave up. I mean, what well, can I tell you? That's the problem with a lot of uh, melanated people. Either you give up, you don't have no hope, but, you know, if you don't have hope, then you're going to die. That's really how that works. Well, my kids don't, my kids don't listen to that. So, I, you know, my kids understand something. In my home, you must have education. Second thing, you have to get a uh, either a college degree or a trade. You're not going to come around here and not have anything. It's not it's not even an option with me. Because if you're not going to do it, then I'm going to put it in a way that you wish you would have done it. I'm going to cut you off and you grow and go do what you want to do. Now, as long as you go to school or even a trade school, your daddy will, will pay for everything. He will work hard. He will do everything that he has to do. Well, well, I said that. Yeah, white supremacy is the problem. It is. And, and and that's the bigger picture. But when it comes to us, you know, a lot of us as men need to understand, as a melanated man, we're the most hated in America. So anything anti-melanated uh, uh, man, this society is going to push. And we have to understand that. See, some, some of the men in our community are living la-la land, and they think people like you. Like, people don't like you. Some people like you when they can get something out of you, but they don't really like you because if somebody like you, they care about your plight, they care about your children, they care about the women of your community, they actually care. Notice all these different groups now want the melanated people to come speak for them, uh, not since Donald Trump getting up on them. But all before you weren't saying nothing with them, when the police was, was, was gunning us down, wasn't saying a word, were you? So, so that's my thing. You know what? And that's sad. What you just said, that's sad. It should be standard operating procedure for any melanated man to know how to change a dog on top. If you can't change the tire, that that's a problem. You should leave your house if you can't change the tire. You should be able to even make a simple oil change if you got to. If you don't know what oil filter at on your car, if you don't know how to drain your oil, if you don't know how to put some oil in your car, you don't know how to check the transmission fluid, check the brake fluid, you don't know how to check anything, that's a problem. That That is a problem. My God. Is it that bad? Is it that? See, it seems like we, we need a school. We really need a school just to teach these guys how to be men. I mean, teach them the skills. Okay, this is how you change the tire. This is how you check the transmission oil. This is how you check this, check that. You know, because the way the way we was raised, and I I I, I thank God about um, yes, L. A. Kendrick, I got your email, I got it, um, I saw it, I read it, and it's messed up. Like I said, but just just give me some time. Anyway, um, we need to learn how to be men, and and even how some guy like even even with some guys. How they, how they, you can tell when they had a dad around by listening to what they say. If you see a guy get overly emotional so quick, he's quick to argue, especially with women. Because one thing I don't do, and I learned a long time ago, the most powerful thing with women is just don't argue with them. Because number one, you're not going to win that. Even if you are the best debate person in the world, you're not going to win. So let them talk, let them say whatever they want to say is cool. Okay, like fine. As long as she ain't hitting me, I'm good. Of course, you should be dealing with nobody's hitting you. But walk away. Don't say anything to them. Let them say what they want. Because at the end of the day, if they're not acting right, you just walk away. But another way I can tell, too, a guy I've been around a lot of women, if I hear a man using the B word a lot and the way he say it, too, I've heard some of these guys say that word, and it sounds just like a female. And I say, oh, my God. I said, these guys here ain't had no dad around. I don't know men that use the B word constantly. Now, some may use it to insult a woman. I get that. But they say it a certain way to sound like, like, a, like a female. And I, I, I don't understand that. Another, another thing um, that I have seen and I don't understand how this is a diss. 
And, and, and I said, man, you wouldn't raise your father because your father would have checked you. There are men in our community that would tell another man to suck his penis as a diss. Now, how's that a diss to another dude? I, 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 I don't get that. And some of y'all say that mess. That, that's and that, that's my thing. Like like like, and that's why I, I you know seeing some of the ways some of these guys are, I refuse for my son to come up that way. My son know the real of everything. I talk. My son is twelve years old. I talk to him about this society. I talk to him about how they're not gonna like him. I talk to him about these uh, 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 white females. I, I talk and I show him the deal about them. I talk to him about everything. And my son ain't gonna come up here sorry. Because to me, a sorry guy is a reflection on his father. And doggone it, if you got a father in your life, what kind of man is he if he don't teach you nothing? And just because you may not be with the mom, don't mean you can't be in your child's life. And if she's preventing you from doing so, fight like hell. There's a legal process you can do, fight like hell. Because some men tell me I ain't in my child's life. I'm like, okay. She prevented me. Okay. Did you file a motion of enforcement on a visitation order? What did you do? Well, if you're not going to try to fight, then what's the point? Because at the end of the day, if you're not there, at least say, I fought. This is the court paperwork to prove I fought. But I lost. That way you have a defense. If you don't fight, you'll have a defense. I tell any dude that if you fight and make it hard, eventually they're gonna have to back down and say, you know what, man, this dude wanna be in this child's life. He won't give it up, no matter what. Cause some women, yes, I get it. Some women be vindictive and they they know they can hurt you through that child because they can't hurt you nowhere else. Especially when you move on and get with you another lady, and the thing that your ex wouldn't do, the new lady's doing, and she see that and she feel that okay, maybe now you a little bit more successful. And that lady's benefiting when she feels that should be her. So she tried to maybe use a child, possibly, to get back at you. Still don't put up with it. Don't put up with it. You have to try you have to try harder. You got to try harder. And even like some people you like say go to jail for child support. What I've learned about that system, keep a stash of money. Shoot. Sometimes you just never know with, with these jobs. That's why we talk about creating multiple streams of income because if all you got is one job, they cut you off, then what? You get what I'm saying? One person said they from Korea. That's, that, well, if you are from Korea, that, that's... Well, if you're from Korea, what, what's going on with that uh, black beauty supply situation? You from Korea? Like, why y'all sewing that up? But anyway, um... I'm kind of reading some of y'all comments here. Oh, also, glad I brought that up. Yeah, see? See? Yeah, when you go through the court, fight, you don't know what you're going to get. And trust me, a whole lot of women don't have a lot of funds to continue that mess. Not ongoing over and over and over and over and over. Uh, because I can tell you from personal experience, it's expensive. To fight for custody it's expensive to fight for time and all this other stuff it's, just, it's very very expensive um but on top of that when you when you talk tell us about uh we focus in on different things or even uh business or whatever else that we got going on i uh, definitely want to appreciate everyone that has uh you know subscribed to our channel um everyone who is a patron on patreon as well um, we're trying to get to 100% fan funding right now. We're about at 7.5%. So we need to get to 100% because you know we definitely need to keep putting out the messages. So I want to thank everybody who joins the Patreon. If you're not joining us on Patreon, join us on Patreon. It's uh, patreon.com/slash advise show media. Join us there. And we have a lot of things for our people there uh, who join us on Patreon. Like like 200 and some more people. So we're trying to get our goal is 3,000. So 
check us out over there if you haven't had a chance. Subscribe to all our channels as well. I need to put that out there. Uh, we have a second channel, Advice Show Media. Check that one out. Yes, Patreon. Check it out if you haven't had a chance. Um, but what I'm just trying to say is, you know, when it comes to men in our community, let's shift our focus to dealing with the issues. And the issues are definitely white supremacy. The issues is getting our act together. Number three, stop being jealous of each other as men when we don't want to help each other. We have a big inherent jealousy of each other. And it definitely comes from your former slave master were putting you against each other. So we can deal with all the issues that's in our community. You talking about gun gun shops? Well, I mean, if you, you got it like that, open you one up. Because the people who got gun shops, um, they're making good money. But them folks, good luck getting into that with them folks. They get afraid when they see black people, uh, <laughs> melanated people, arming themselves up. You want to start a news story, get about a, th a thousand of us and go show up at a gun shop telling me we want to go buy uh, guns. Watch the news going to come out there on that one. Like, the, the gun shop owner will be happy. He'll be like, oh, shoot, I'm making money today. But, the, uh, shoot, they don't, they don't want to see that. And you tell them, I'm just afraid for my life. Trust me. They will chain laws. They start seeing us flooding the gun shops, buying them. Yeah, y'all, y'all, y'all know it's true. So you talking about what? Well, you say you would love to see a dark person open a gun shop. Why don't you open one? Why don't you do it? We always say we want to see other people do it. You do it. You figure it out. It was your idea in the first place. You do it. You say a black rifle association? I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to look more look more into that. No, you be a leader. I'm not for telling other people to do things. I'm like, because if it's the idea, if, if it's the idea if for you to lead, lead. But, you know, also another thing, I don't disclose that sort of stuff online. Two things I don't disclose. I don't disclose firearms, I don't disclose finances, I don't disclose locations. I don't suppose none of that. That's just wise. You don't do that. Uh, anyway, when it comes back to some of the things that we were also discussing, now when I make videos talking about not, you know, procreating or uh, dating uh, thugs, more so on the protection of the woman is why I'm making it. That's why I say it. But on the essence of men, and men keep saying over and over and over, well, why they want them? And they don't want the nice guy like me with a nine to five. That's probably what it is. He has more money than you. He exhibits probably more of an alpha male behavior, not these days, but the presume what you deem a small bit of that. Um, and so if they have a need, they probably can get it from him versus you. Now, once you get to your point in your life that you're successful, then you definitely gonna stand out a lot more because the, the thug success is he about to be a slave. In any given moment right so since he's gonna be a slave to the state it's not gonna last long versus you you're a businessman um, or whatever you got going on yours gonna be sustainable period and it takes finance you say fight about racism it takes finance to do anything you think Martin Luther King and them it didn't take money you know how you know how many how many millions of dollars was given to Martin Luther King and the civil rights movement to fight it wasn't for free and this thing that we do have in the melanated community where this being broke is honorable stuff we the only community that i see that believe in that being broke isn't honorable being broke shows that you didn't get your act together male and female my thing is i need this, this is my Part of, part of my mission in life. I want to be in a position where I can create thousands of jobs for people within our community so they don't have to worry about having to, oh man, I got in trouble one point in time in my life and now 
I can't get a job. Oh, well, you can't get a job? You got one here. And you got the skills. Working with me, if a sister want to wear uh, dreadlocks or whatever other styles you want, I'll be the first one to tell her, I like your hair. I'll be the first one to tell you that. I ain't gonna tell you what you know, you gotta take that out because, um, you know, that doesn't look, man, sh man, please. Please. But you say we don't have a problem unifying, that's a lie. Because we quickly unify to do some dirt in our community. Male and female, we quick to unify to talk. For instance, we unify real quick to talk about each other. We unify easy on that. So why can't we unify for, for the good of the community? That's the only thing that I'm saying. We, like, like, it's like negativity we wanna, we wanna uh, 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 unify about. Now, I'm, I'm like, first I'm tired of it. I don't even wanna be a part of no, like you about negativity with the, against uh, us. I ain't trying to be around you with that. Like, man, let's move on with that, man. I ain't trying to hear all that. Yeah, there you go, Shayla May, you right. We all should be leaders. You right about that. It ain't gonna take the one, one person. This the problem. When you have one person as a leader, it's kind of like this motto. Strike the shepherd, the sheep are scattered, right? So you don't want one shepherd because once they strike the shepherd, then the sheep is gone, the movement is gone. So you had a jerry curl? I, you know, I never had a jerry curl. Never did. I said, why so many black YouTube channels are... Well, like I said before, those individuals who are doing that aren't even at a place in their life yet. Because like I said, once you're at a certain place in your life, women is not going to be the problem. You have to understand that. Those guys are just they're not there yet they're not there and some of them that's what some some of the women got to understand too that's hearing these guys i can tell you from personal experience and i had to and i had to realize the things too a lot of problem a lot of our brothers is mother problems because once the mother and father broke up, it wasn't broken up on a good good situation. There was a lot of drama, beef, and there's a lot of things that a lot of these, you know, now men, but they were boys, heard from their mothers. And their mothers said certain things to them that really hurt them as children. And when they grow up as men, if they hear any woman within our community say anything remotely, remotely close to what the mom has said to them at the time period, it triggers thoughts and emotions and feelings from childhood. This is why I feel in our community, all of us need a great psychology session, multiple psychology sessions to deal with a lot of things. Our childhood, especially we grew up in a rough neighborhood, single parent household. We need psychology because we're dealing with uh, white supremacy every day. That takes an effect on us. That even put more stress on us dealing with white supremacy daily. And we don't need, we act like we don't need um, to talk to somebody. We need more psychologists in our community to try to talk to us and help us get through our issues and problems because we have a lot of men that's hurting our community. We have a lot of women that's hurting our community as well. And hurt people hurt people. It is bottom line. They don't know where, to, nothing else to be but to hurt other people. They're used to that. That's their standard operating procedure. It's to hurt people. So how can you expect somebody that's hurt internally to what? No, no, that's a fact. What I just said about some of these people got mother issues. Some of the women have father issues as well. It, it's, it's on both sides. When you go to a psychologist and you could be 30 years old, if they talk to you and find out you had something going on in the past with your mother, then what the, what, are the psychologists going to say, oh, well, so you're going to blame all your problems on your mom? That's where it started. That's the trigger of, of the problems. So let's deal with that so we can help you today. It may be women with a father issue. 
Some women have father issues and they need to deal with their father issues sometime on the outside. That, that's what that's what I'm saying. We like we are we have never had a, a, a therapy session as people who are former slaves, people who went through Jim Crow, people still dealing with stuff today. We never had that. We need that. We act like, we act like, uh, uh, I said a psychologist, not a psychiatrist. It's a difference. We need psychologists because it's going to help us to figure out what we got going on and to help us grow because we can't fix our community being broken. The men are broken. The women are broken. And because we're broken and we're hurting, it's easier to lash out at each other. It's easier to destroy each other because the system that's created get enjoyment out of breaking melanated people. They get enjoyment out of it. It's entertainment to watch a melanated man or woman crash and burn. Like like 50 Cent said, they'll build you up to destroy you and enjoy watching you get destroyed. 50 Cent said that. And one thing about 50 Cent, I like about it, like y'all can say what y'all want to say about 50, but listen to that dude what he be saying in, in his interviews. That dude be, be putting out a lot of good stuff. We all need some help, a lot of us. Like for me, I don't have issues like that because I had to deal with my issues. And if I wouldn't have dealt with my issues, I'd be no different than these brothers. Trust me on that. I'll be the same exact way, saying the same exact things because I don't get it. Let's say we got a bad connection right now. Oh, that sucks. I don't, I don't see the uh, I don't see the comments popping up. But but. What I'm saying at the end of the day, you know, men, brothers, get 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 your act together. We need we need it for our community. And we focus our time on 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 building things that's going to help our community and help it grow. The last thing we'll be worrying about is women. And the thing is, we're going to talk about women. Let's not talk about women to be getting their pants. That's easy. Let's talk about getting the right woman so we could build something with. We talk about this king queen stuff. Well, in order for you have talking about king queen, you got to have a kingdom for them to rule, right? Well, you, as a man, you get your act together, have everything ready. That when you meet this woman, you set. There's no reason a man should have his own house. I ain't say renting no apartment. You know, some of y'all do that. Y'all have an expensive car and drive in front of an apartment. Having your own house, having your own car, have everything set. That way, you meet your lady. Or y'all get married or whatever, man. Y'all good. Y'all got nothing to worry about. That that that's what that's what a man's supposed to do. And, and we definitely need more of that in our community. So for me, if you hear, you know, guys talking about women all day and they build platforms, just women, women, women. Understand they're not in the right place yet. Because if they were, women would be the last thing they would ever have to worry about. But guys, I'm gonna have to you know get up off of here. Um, I'm gonna have to go check some things out. I think I need to go to the ATM or whatever because uh, I, I'm looking rough as you guys can see. So I'm getting my hair cut today, so I need to get some money for that. Um, check it out on replay. You haven't seen this yet. Uh, let me know in the comments section what you think about this. 